Okay, update. <clears throat> we uh, opened up the clip, pushed the uh, plastic grommet through, and now you can get the wiring, pull it through. Uh, we still need to unfasten right there because that's holding the wiring in. Part of it goes down below, part of it comes into the box. Now, if you notice, it's everything's kind of loose and we took out all of the brake stuff the ABS and the um, divider to send the brake fluid to rear and front splitter we're looking at this and I may just try and use all of this in the Scout I mean the vacuum boosters new it's got a pretty big uh, reservoir there, a nice plastic reservoir uh, with the ABS, the warning system for the brakes. That's all electronic and connected into the PCM and stuff. So, one of the reasons I got the Dakota instead of just trying to get an engine with a wiring harness was so that I could use as much as possible if I needed stuff, just like these motor mounts. You may be able to use those motor mounts cut them off and weld them on or since it has the same ears and horns uh, let's see if I get them oh there they are um, as for the LA engines that should be the same as the 440 we took out so uh, if I get the ears this may fit exactly to where the 440 went but uh, that remains to be seen. A little plastic jug on top to keep water out in case it rains. The air dryer, air conditioner dryer is still an issue. I'm still not quite sure how to get that off. Uh, probably just have to pull really hard. Uh, but the PCM, everything else, I think we're pretty much done. Except for getting this, this part of the wiring done. And I'm gonna take the whole uh, fuse box I'm taking as much as I can, actually. There's plenty of room in the Scout, and uh, I'll update you.